The U.S. military wants to develop its own heavy transport Akranoplan, capable of quickly transferring amphibious equipment and soldiers over long distances. Whether it will surpass the characteristics of the famous Soviet Akranoplan Caspian monster is not yet clear, but it is known that it is planned to develop two projects simultaneously. The defense agency DARPA reported. The Office of Advanced Research Projects of the U.S. Department of Defense concluded two contracts with two American companies for the development of a heavy Akranoplan, which in the future would be able to transfer military cargo weighing from 100 tons to a distance of 12,000 kilometers. General Atomics and Aurora Flight Sciences will simultaneously design two different aircraft as part of the Liberty Lifter program to create a long-range seaplane capable of flying at ultra-low altitudes. The created demonstrators in terms of carrying capacity will have to correspond to the American military transport aircraft C-17 Globemaster III. The technical task assumes the ability of the devices to land and take off from the water surface at a 4-point sea wave. Confidently perform operations on the sea surface with a wave of 5 points. The devices should have an increased flight range at the surface of the sea at an altitude of up to 30 meters due to the screen effect and the ability to continue a confident flight at altitudes of up to 3 kilometers above sea level. We are excited to launch this program and work with both executing teams as they are ready to begin designing the structure in the first phase, said Christopher Kent. Liberty Lifter Project Manager at DARPA both teams chose completely different approaches, which will give us the opportunity to explore a fairly wide solution space. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, which will develop its project in collaboration with Maritime Applied Physics Corporation, received an 8 billion contract from the U.S. Department of Defense in November. GASI is committed to designing a transport aircraft capable of delivering heavy loads and using the screen effect to revolutionize the way the Army of Tomorrow is transported. Our expertise in building marine aircraft, including the MQ-9B Sky Guardian and Sea Guardian drones, will help expand Liberty Lifter's capabilities and portfolio of transport aircraft projects. The company said in a statement. The contract provides for six months of development of the main design and, if successful, another 12 months of design and preparation for production, for which up to $29 million will be allocated. The company chose a two-fuselage design of the Akranoplan with a medium wing to increase its stability and seaworthiness. The Akranoplan will be driven by 12 turboshaft engines located at the trailing edge of the wing. The project of the second contractor, Aurora Flight Sciences, has a design more reminiscent of traditional seaplanes. One fuselage, an upper wing arrangement and is driven by eight pulling turboprop engines at the leading edge of the wing. The project will use a reliable adaptive control system to cope with difficulties when landing and taking off from the sea surface and when flying at low altitudes with evading waves and obstacles. The company said. Experts noticed that its design resembles the Pelican Akranoplan, an unrealized project of Boeing, developed 20 years ago in the United States. According to the contract, both contractors must develop aircraft capable of carrying two ACVP amphibious armored personnel carriers or taking on board six 20-foot containers. The screen effect is called a sharp increase in the lift of the wing of an aircraft when it flies near the surface water or earth. The effect allows you to create aircraft that move close to the surface of the water, have an increased range and carrying capacity.